So when we left things off, we'd return to Checkmate Station to rearm and regroup before heading out on our next adventure. By now, we were getting used to the very rough around the edges environments of Pyro. There's no cruise flex out here. The Pyro Playground was not the whole of the Pyro system, and I suspect that even in the areas we are allowed to go, CIG are holding back a lot of locations and features for the full release. But even in this more limited scope, there was still a huge number of places to visit, and we were setting out to see another of them for the first time today. Pyro 1, here we come. Solar Anomaly, great. <laughs> we were on our way to Pyro 1. And on arrival, I wanted to find us something to do immediately. Before we venture any further, let's take a look at what missions are available. Xenothreat wanted a headhunter killed at Rustville. Rustville on Pyro 1, okay. This one is, um, I'm showing it. The environment here might prove to be a problem, <laughs> but we'll okay. give it a go. Pyro 1, as the name suggests, is closest to the star Pyro, and so temperatures planet side get very hot. And with Pyro being a lawless system, we'd be checking for signs of players as we approach the settlement of Rustville. 20 comments out. Soon we were close enough to see the settlement itself. But we were trespassing by being here, and while not getting shot at yet, there were ground turrets. Watch that survival timer just in case it's going to get real warm out here. We were approaching Rustville, still in ways from our target, but ready to encounter hostile NPCs and maybe even players. Let's see anyone yet. <sighs> On making it to the first buildings, though, things were very quiet. Holding up for you guys. I don't see anybody at all. The target marker was still a ways out. Where's the target? Oh, I'm not far. Rustville was bigger than we initially thought, though. And that's no, it keeps going. The outpost is big. Oh my god, the outpost is huge, bro. Watch your step. Yeah, it's a bit of a downward slope here. Ooh, ooh. Wind is kicking up now. I think we do have hostiles down here. I see someone. That was the last the guy. Yeah. Nice. Is he all alone here? I don't know. I think we should probably search to make sure. But this place is pretty big. This place is a lot bigger than the one on um, Pyro 3. Yeah. This looks like a cantina. Their village was quiet, but not completely empty. There are more people here. As trespassers, we were not welcome. Shooting first definitely made more sense. I'm not seeing anyone inside. Decent cover, though. As we moved to the village, I'd spot something I'd seen in a CIG demo somewhere before and got quite excited. It's like stuck in the. Oh, I found one of those. Shit, I fell. Maybe I'm stuck in the geometry now? Shit. What do you want to be able to pull me out? I don't know, it's hard to say. So I'd gotten stuck and needed to be in cab to be pulled out by a tractor beam. More. Okay, now I'm bleeding. Three, two, one. There we go. 
sadly the tracks beam just would not take this time leading to a relog and a return journey and en route players would start being spotted by the team firing. What do you hear? I heard uh it sounded like a ship firing of some sort and I heard a ship fly over So there's an enemy here. Eon Hawk. NPC or player? Player. I gotta get out of here. Oh, I'm running that's a redeemer. A run, that's run, a run. redeemer. Holy crap. We all had railguns now, though, thanks to our shopping trip last episode. And railgun. He's, right? he's running off. He's running off. Just hovering in the air. I mean, a real gun against a, a redeemer is going to be a tough one. It's, I know. <laughs> The Redeemer ran away, never to be seen again, but what I'd originally been excited about was this landing pad, which does function, and the team had been exploring in my absence. Or not really a ramp, it's a lift that's in the back Does it there. work? Yes. I feel, like, I feel like this in itself is incentive for an org to take one of these places over. Yeah. Yeah, see? Is there a place you can call cool ground vehicles? Not that we found. We did find a dragonfly and a mule, which wouldn't be likely they would just be sitting here, so I mean... Now, performance here on my dated hardware was painful at times, but with a lull in activity, we had a nice chance to explore this giant settlement. There are mounted yeah. guns here. Gun rack. There's an F-55, holy shit. Can you grab it? Oh, this looks like where they made all their food. <laughs> Go down, everything. Oh my god, this, this yeah. is cool. Yeah, look at this, look at this. Yeah. There's, there's this like is... a little oh yeah, I'm in a cool space as well. So much detail. If you go into the basement, um, Arathorn, hook around the corner, there's like a cool space here. Yep. And this underfloor area of the settlement seemed to stretch out for a very, very long way. This is huge. This this underground area is just. What are we under? I think that's. The hell is in another? Oh. I found a few of these hatches. I have no idea what they are here for, but interesting to locate down here anyway. Look at this. Oh, there's a tunnel. We're in it. We're in the tunnel. Yeah. But there are all these hatches on the ground that you can open, and it's like circuitry and shit inside them. Part maybe part of a mission, oh, I would imagine. Oh, it is a jail. Yeah, wow. Look at that. Whoa. Oh, what the hell is this place? I see eclipse. Eclipse here, I guess. I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, that's weird. All right. Well, that's that's a cool thing. A lot of room for play here. That's for sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's like a turret here, just facing the door. Oh, my God. But as we were heading back outside, an ominous sign would confront us. What? Ooh, is, is that a ship going overhead? That is a ship. That is a ship, yep. That looked like a talent silhouette. Oh, it's a glaive. Oh, it's a glaive. Oh, okay, okay. Is it attacking our ships? Uh, Something just blew up. That's all I yeah, know. I think so. I think that's exactly what it's doing. Okay, I hit with three Vilgen hits. Need to scurry off. Yep. Got it. One. Yeah. Oh, really Shit, it took, it took out one of the ships. I gotta reload. They're both down. Wait, both of them? Yeah. Okay, well now we gotta kill this thing. I'd get a major desync on my shot, but Vlaz was also firing. Yeah! Outside the village, we also found a cutlass, handy now that we had no ships. Oh, those are red. But we'd hear shots soon after. <laughs> Ours is in the landing pad. Ooh, shots! <laughs> yeah, I just heard a shot too. Oh. Towards the front of the, um, Kai. You, yeah, yeah, where the, where the Kai's 
Yeah, don't use me as a reference because like, I'm turning all over the place. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna um, point to the right here to those rocks. Sure, yeah. Um, if you see him, I'm trying to take a pot shot. Sure. Okay, I'm moving over. We only knew that the shots came from forwards of the cutlass back towards the town. As the weather cleared again, we'd scope the buildings ahead. Wait. Possible movement on the roof ahead of me? I'm trying to get to you. Yep, yep, got someone on the roof up there. Alright. Okay, do you see the building to my 12? Yep, and I'm on. The two domes on yes. it? Yeah, they're on that rooftop. Yeah. Yep, I've got it covered. Yeah, you covered. Pushing up behind you. I went in from you guys. Is... Over the near side, we'll go far side. Alright. Alright, with your turning. Got it. On your six. Following you. Holding at the top of the ladder. Cover left for a sec. Yep. Yep. There's a door up here. No signs yet. It's around the other side of the building. We haven't seen them yet. There's a door here as well. Ramp down over here. Yeah. I hear, I hear uh, somebody inside. It sounds like somebody's inside over here. And Vlad's and Trenik would soon confirm that they had heard someone. Oh, I see him. I see him right there. Work. That's one down. Is that what did you see one? Just one. Trenick would soon spot another player looking around, but then we'd lose them, so we'd go searching around the landing pad area. I've got an idea, I've got an idea. Trenick, you wanna cover me while I climb the ladder on that tower? By this time of the session, performance for me at this location had gotten really bad, but I figured getting a higher vantage point might help me spot the target for one of the other team members to engage. Oh, now I am very high up. It's got to spot anything from here. I see a naked dead body in the landing pads. I see that one too. My guess is that they would just have a building. Sounds like a good guess, yeah. yeah. There's like so many places to go here that yeah. they could be exploring down there for 15, 20 minutes and before they come up. This place is crazy. This place is so much more impressive than the one on the other planet. You know, like, the other planet village is cool, but this one is so much bigger. But as we searched for the lone player Trenic had spotted, a more familiar face would come returning, and again, Trenic would sight them first. Is a ship coming in? Direction? Uh, yeah, it's can't do a direction very well. It's that glaive they're It's back. a glaive, holy shit. Okay. One hit. Nice. He's moving. Sorry. <laughs> He's gone high. I got him. Arathorn was landing a lot of hits despite the distance. Got him one more time. Good work, Arathorn, you're doing great. And the glaive would come under attack from the air as well, as a humble drake cutter moved in to attack with an aggressive charge. He's running from a freaking cutter? <laughs> what? <laughs> Must not be that great of a pilot. I got a hit on the cutter. I got a hit on that glaive. He's covering right above me. Damn it. The cutter wouldn't last long, of course, but not long after, Vlaz would deliver the death blow to the glaive as well. It's coming in, it's coming in. Okay. Because if the cutter survives the land, that's our ride. 
Oh, oh he's going good oh, way. Nice shot. That was beautiful. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> really determined. I mean, he did come he back. He did come back. It's the fireworks show where we are. We'd well and truly given our positions away in the hunt for any players on the ground, so I was leaving the tower. But on the second ladder, things got weird again. Yeah. I, oh no. Oh, no. Ladders fall. clip you Don't into fall. things now, apparently. Stuck. I'm very stuck. This is, this is, uh, uh, looks like another reload situation. Yeah, that, so I, was, I was trying to climb down. No, there's no way you're going to get me out of here. Well, maybe, I don't know. So I'd again need to reload back to Checkmate Station, and this more or less coincided with the end of the 8 hour session of day 1 of the Pirate Preview. Now that we'd seen all of the planets available to us up close, we could narrow in on future expeditions to get more time at any one location, and there were plenty of adventures to come as the tech preview continued on. How did we fare beyond day 1? Join us in part 5 to find out. As always, I want to thank all of you at home for watching and all of our amazing patrons who you can see on screen right now. These very generous people are why we can put out videos several times a week and I am enormously grateful to all of you for that support. And in this video, I would especially like to thank Rumline who recently increased his pledge support to the channel over on Patreon. Thank you very much Rumline, that is a huge help and I am just enormously grateful to you, thank you. We'll be back with more from Pyro very soon.